I started noticing symptoms when I would ask the same question multiple times within a few minutes um, and not remember the answer that somebody told me. So you touched your hands because they call it flappers and your hands will, you know, you can't really keep them steady and they flap and they flap. And when that starts, that's when you know you're getting the toxins. It's kind of a process where you know certain things are not good. And it started small and then progressively, progressively got worse over the course of time. And there was one specific time I got in the car and started driving home from work. And uh, I came to in the car while driving. Now, obviously I was still driving okay, we didn't crash or anything. But at the same time, on the way home, um, I looked at where I was and I had to look to the left to realize the sun was setting. And I noticed I had my, uh, my you know, suit and tie on that day. So I was like, okay, um, I must be coming home from work. The problem was I had passed my exit by about two hours. You can't remember anything, you're shaky, you feel like you're 80 years old. Just crawled around the house, um, didn't know where I was, didn't know, couldn't talk, couldn't walk, crawled, I tried to bust through the walls because I couldn't get out. And then one day I walked in and my husband, Michael, was holding the remote control and his cell phone. And he said, I'm not sure what these are. I know you press them to do things, but I'm not sure. I was having some problems with um, fluid in my abdomen and I just was really tired and really just feeling kind of bad and feeling kind of um, just irritable and really exhausted. And so I went to um, a doctor who recommended me that I see a different doctor, and then that's when they found that I had that I had something called ascites on my abdomen, which is fluid building up in my in my belly, and that is a one of the symptoms for cirrhosis. And so that's when they sent me to a specialist, and and it was confirmed that I had um and decompensated cirrhosis. So, and as soon as I was diagnosed, I got I started to get really sick really quickly. So I, uh, I was in the hospital probably within two weeks of being diagnosed. And they were testing my ammonia level um, and they noticed that it was elevated, but they primarily went on the symptoms that I was having and the severity of the, the forgetfulness and the fatigue. Um, and then that's when I was diagnosed with hepatic encephalopathy or HE.